Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Esther Gidu. You are in Washington. In Africa, hundreds of indigenous languages are on the verge of extinction, according to the United Nations Culture Organization, UNESCO. That includes at least 13 languages in Kenya. Kenyan civil society groups recently met in Nairobi to discuss a proposed bill that, if passed into law, would help preserve and safeguard these disappearing dialects. Ral Ombor reports. 102-year-old Leriman Letiko sits under a tree, passing down knowledge of a culture and a dialect that may be near its end. Letiko and his 95-year-old brother Leteion are the only two men in a tribe of about 10,000 who can speak fluent Yakunte. The UN Cultural Organization, UNESCO, classified the Yakunte language as extinct, but the Yaku, an indigenous tribe which lives in the Mukogodo forest and its environs in Laikipia, are fighting to keep it alive. Both my mother and grandmother spoke Yakunte. The period when we started interacting more and intermarrying with the Maasai, that's when the language started to get lost. When we married into a different tribe, we adopted their languages. Most Yakuntes now speak Maasai, the language of their Lakipia Maasai neighbors. Leriman Letiko has been using oral tradition to pass down the language and cultural knowledge to his son and other Yakus. He says the only way to save the Yakunte dialect is by introducing it in local schools. Right now, we have schools and we have education. If the language is introduced in schools in this area, get teachers and the older Yakus involved. I'm confident the language can be revived. Civil society groups and the culture ministry have drafted a bill to document and promote indigenous languages in Kenya. My state department is charged with languages. Yeah? So we are developing a policy uh, to see whether we can preserve some of these languages. But as I said, a language is only important when it's used. Even when we develop that language and there is nobody to speak it, we never hear of it. Kimani Njogu, a linguist who is also a member of the Academy of African Languages, says languages can die like anything else. Because of globalization and urbanization, uh, and also the fact that uh, we do not seem to be having very systematic transfer of languages across generations. So you have older people not transferring their language to younger people, um, as well as um, systems of education where certain languages dominate the systems of education. Um, so quite a number of languages are actually endangered. Njogu adds that information technology should be used to capture these languages before they disappear. This is a goal that the Yaku Lekipia Trust is championing. And what we want to embark on is documentation. Taking the voice of the elders that are available, those are, that are uh, fluent, bringing them together to continue talking. So we want to have a place where we shall be talking, they will be talking themselves, we will be recording their language. If that happens and the bill on language policy passes, Yakunte and other indigenous languages may live on something that would make Leriman Letiko feel his efforts were not in vain. Rael Lombor for VOA News, Laikipia, Kenya.